All right, welcome to another edition of Boxing Angarete. So uh, I'm here looking at this article, and I kind of want to give my opinion on it. Um, the article is found on uh, Boxing 24 hour, uh, 24/7. Um, the article is called "Why Do Fans Hate Oscar De La Hoya So Much?" Um, the article was written by Hector Hector Gonzalez. And he starts out basically by saying that he doesn't he he doesn't understand uh, why all the hate against Oscar de Hoya that in his career he's done so much. He was the first uh, boxer to break away from Bob Arum and to successfully successfully make his own promotional company. And right now he has the mo out of all you know that you know that all these other boxers have tried to do the same thing like Mayweather, Cotto, Pacquiao, Khan, but no one to the success that Oscar de Hoya has had, uh, and also uh, no one has made a superstar like Canelo Alvarez, um, you know, in the other promotions. Um, in that aspect, I have to agree for the most part. I will have to say Mayweather promotions have done a pretty good job. They do have a lot of boxers, a few champions, and they've done pretty good well. And right now, they actually have a boxer, um, Tank Davis, who I feel could be the next superstar. So, I don't know. But let's continue here um, what he goes on to say. Um, basically, he's going to outline here um, one of a uh, few of the reasons why he feels that people hate Oscar de la Hoya. Um, the number one, one the, the first reason he gives out is the Oscar versus Ch Julio Cesar Chavez uh, fight. He feels that the reason, you know, the fact that Oscar destroyed Julio Cesar Chavez twice and um, basically the Mexican uh, hardcore fan base that has never considered him a uh, full Mexican that he's you know Mexican American and he's not you know he doesn't have a Mexican style and all that stuff so when that happened I guess a lot of people felt hurt and you know how Oscar basically destroyed uh, Julio Cesar Chavez and I remember I was a kid when that happened and yeah even I as a kid heard some of the backlash um, number two reason he says is Oscar that oh yeah Mayweather beef um, you know, the ongoing beef between them two, um, the exchange of words, you know, either your Mayweather promotions or your Golden Boy promotions, you know, your that whole split between them two, um, even to the point where um, Oscar was trained by uh, uh, Mayweather Sr., which uh, also, you know, I, I felt on my part it was kind of messed up, you know, to go there, but he did, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, third reason he gives is uh, basically kind of going with the first reason that he's not Mexican enough. Um, he goes on to say, you know, that basically he doesn't have the same Mexican style. Um, one of the main reasons he feels that that it was like the Oscar that all your trainer that fight, especially that 12 round, how he basically ran for the whole 12 round. Um, he feels that Mexicans don't do that, especially not against a Puerto Rican fighter, which normally I do agree because, you know, we do give some of the best fights. Um, fourth reason, the PVC Golden Boy situation. Um, basically, you know, the whole, um, when Golden, he was basically saying in the article that how when Golden Boy was, you know, still with kind of Al Heyman and stuff, how the, all the big fights were being made. Um, how all the, you know, just all the good fights were being made and all that stuff. And then basically when Al Heyman um, broke away from that and started the PVC brand, and that's when the big fights stopped happening. Um, so, alright, I'm back here. So, I um, had to go outside to finish this video. So, like I was saying, so the PV, uh, so when basically when PVC started and I broke away from Golden Boy, um, basically the article here saying that, uh, that all the big fights started happening. So, um, he goes on to say that Golden Boy's idea was to bring these fights to TV Network for free, get rid of the pay per view platform. What ended up happening was the most of the fighters of Golden Boy's taper were taken from Golden Boy Promotions and signed with PBC. A breach of contract deal between Golden Boy Promotion CEO Richard Sniper and boxing advisor Al Heyman, who went to establish Premier Boxing, taking almost Golden Boy's all Golden Boy's fighters with them. Again, I'm no lawyer, nor do I know the ins and outs of the entertainment investors paying paying money to these networks. The outcome, though, is the great fights are not being made anymore. <clears throat> So he ends basically the article by saying that uh, maybe Oscar's vice took him to hell and back and braced him for sure. But when all said is done, here's our three th 
things that can't be ignored. Oscar did it all in boxing, Olympics, and one of the best lightweights of all times and successful promoter. Two, he's done well for himself and his fighters. And three, he would probably kick your ass if it came down to it. So, um, listen, let's get real here. I'm not gonna lie. When the golden the golden boy era was at its peak, yes, they were making very, 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 very great fights. Um, to the point that uh, that I, I was a very big fan of Golden Boy Promotions. Now, but to go on and say that now that ever since PBC broke away, you know, from Golden Boy, that the great fights wasn't happening, uh, that are not happening anymore, that's a whole lot of bullshit. You know, PBC is putting on great events right now. Um, I feel they have the greatest fights out there. Right now they have a, uh, uh, this coming up, not this weekend, the next coming up weekend, they have Porter versus Spence, with, which I feel is basically the biggest fight besides the Anthony Joshua and uh, and uh, uh, Andy Reese fight. But uh, besides that, I would say Porter and, and um, Spence is the biggest fight out there. So um, this dude's full of shit. Um, I think he he's probably you know in Golden Boy's back pocket to make it look good because he didn't mention none of the points on why people hate Oscar de la Hoya, well, at least on my opinion. My opinion, basically, people hate Oscar de la Hoya because of um, the main, basically, the main thing is um, his scandals. You know, he he's constantly on social media talking back and forth. You know, this whole Ryan and Carnelo situation is a great example of what I'm talking about. Uh, he's talking out of his ass. He doesn't know what he what he's saying half the time. Um, uh, also, a lot of pe- uh, a lot of people had lost a lot of respect for him after the whole scandal with the pictures of him dressing like a woman, the whole coke situation where he got uh, put in rehab. Um, a lot of people had lost a lot of respect for him. Now, when it comes to why people hate on him, is I think it's mostly also because of the whole Canelo situation. They protect Canelo way too fucking much way too much even in when the gold when the golden boy era was great they were protecting canelo they were putting him in all mayweather's undercards but against what against bullshit opponents i think the only good fight that golden boy back in those days gave gave canelo was against lara and we all know that golden boy did not want to make that fight that it was lara the one who pushed the situation and it was kind of basically making them make the fight so, you know, for you to sit there and say that you don't understand why Oscar de la Hoya gets so much hate, it's very ignorant on your part if, you know, you being a, a boxing reporter. Because we all know why we dislike Oscar. He doesn't want to make the big fights. He protects Canelo way too much. And they give privileges way too much. You think Oscar de la Hoya had nothing to do with this WBC uh, 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 franchise champion? Um, you think you think he didn't have nothing to do with uh, them, uh, Char- uh, uh, Canelo uh, being able to duck Demetrius Andre and the Charlo brothers? It's like, come on, he's been ducking the Charlo brothers since 154 pounds. It's like, come on, like, don't don't patronize us. Like, we know why we don't like Oscar the Hoya, and you know why you don't you don't like Oscar the Hoya. And to the last things that you said, yes. He was a great boxer, one of the best lightweights, like you said. Um, a lot of uh, merit is when it comes to, as a fighter. Um, but as a person, as an individual, he's not the greatest person at all. And then uh, about him kicking my ass, you know what? I see the whole is at a point in his life where he ain't kicking nobody's ass. So, whatever. <laughs> so, um, basically what I'm trying to say is, you know... These reporters doing these reports, like I said, I love 24-7 boxing. They usually have, are on point with news, but some of their reporters have an agenda. And their agenda is basically to make these promoters look good. But we see right through you, and we're not going to stand here by it. So, last thing I want to say is, if you guys think, basically, my question is, if you guys think that the that uh, uh, that golden boy uh, that golden boy since PVC started has been trying to make better fights than PVC please in your comments please tell me which fights and, and how do you figure that because ever since PVC started PVC has been making the best fights available 
hands down. But that's all I got for you guys. Um, appreciate your time. Uh, hopefully I can make another video uh, later on today. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, um, hit that notification bell, and uh, what can I say? Peace.